A wise man once said, The road to Skynet is paved with good intentions. But it was a little bit silly, because realistically, the road to Skynet is paved with venture capitalist dollars, not good intentions. But I think the point still stands that we're heading towards Skynet, and it's paved with something, and we're going to be upset about it when we get there. We, over the last couple of weeks, have had two bits of news that when taken independently are weird and annoying and crazy, but when combined together are completely ridiculously terrifying. The first is that AI bots are now beating 100% of, according to Artist Technica, those traffic image captures. You know, those little image captures like, hey, what's a set of stairs? Hey, what's uh, where are where some crosswalks or some motorcycles? Click on them. Yeah. So we now have AI chat bots, AI bots that are solving these 100% of the time meaning that when they're like hey prove you're not a robot uh, that doesn't prove you're not a robot anymore those little pictures do nothing to start to actually prove that you're not a robot in fact the ai systems can beat them far better than apparently i can because i have failed and apparently am a robot according to these captures i've failed them so many times oh my gosh <laughs> my my wife laughs repeatedly because clearly she is a robot because she fails them more than she passes them. They should click on all the things that are a bus. Okay, here's all the things that are a bus. Oh, you got it wrong. What, what, what was the bus? Like, I, it's ridiculous. But the AI systems are passing them 100% of the time, which means that AI systems are doing a better job at proving that they're human and getting past, you better be a human to use this, firewalls than humans are. <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy that that's happening. But what really, really makes me nervous is when you couple that with the fact that almost every major company is working around the clock to give AI systems nuclear reactors. Now, uh, OpenAI is doing it. Uh, Microsoft is doing it. Amazon is doing it. These companies are they're they're hiring nuclear engineers in some cases they're building nuclear reactors themselves in other cases they're uh licensing the entirety of nuclear reactors uh from other companies as microsoft did recently when they when they got, when they got a deal struck with three mile island in order to get all of the power from three mile island but other other outlets or other companies are are literally building these small uh, individual, they call them micro-sized and nuclear reactors, but they're still pretty gosh darn hefty. And you combine that together, they now have nuclear reactors, so an immense amount of energy, with the ability to bypass, you better be a human to use this system or to access this network firewalls. And is nobody else freaked out about that? How difficult is it going to be for these AI systems to find a way to access and control the nuclear systems, which are inevitably going to be connected to a network somehow? You know it's true. You know that that's happening. As ridiculous as it is, they are not 100% air-gapped. They're just not. Um, there's going to be some aspects of these nuclear systems that are going to be accessible in some way to a network. And when you've got a an AI system on said network that is already built specifically to mimic humans and pass human fire human only firewalls, they're going to gain access to that. How is that not step five on the road to here we go, it's Skynet party time, <laughs> right? How is that not walking down that road really, really, really far? We're giving them a, a, a huge, massive, powerful energy source, so it's harder for us to pull the plug. Um, we're... <laughs> We're giving them the ability constantly. We're constantly improving on their ability to pretend to be humans, to talk like humans, to um, interact with images, videos, sounds, and text like like they're humans, um, to um, generate video that looks like a human created it, to solve you better be a human, don't be a robot captures on websites. 
okay. So we're training them to pretend to be us so well that we can't tell the difference and then giving them a nuclear reactor and that's going to be fine. Holy heavens. Come on. How does this not bring about our eventual destruction? I, I, I'm not saying here that that AI system is suddenly going to become con conscience and 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 sentient and and begin to take us over because it's evil. I'm just saying that that's all probably going to happen whether or not it's sentient, right? It, it, it's software that's built to mimic us <laughs> and, it's, and it's built to bypass our security measures and while mimicking us and powered by its own little nuclear reactors. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. something's going to go wrong. I'm sorry. This is, this is, this is like, we need John Connor and we need him stat because we need to fight against this. I, I, I'm not saying that these AI systems aren't impressive technologically, but Skynet was pretty impressive technologically. Those robots were, did you guys see the, uh, the, the Optimus robot demo that, that Elon Musk's Tesla, uh, gave, was it just over the weekend? It was a really impressive display of robotics. And there was there was some debate about exactly how those robots were controlled and, you know, were there people behind the scenes controlling it and were AI systems involved at all? Um, but regardless, what it showed was a really, really impressive display of robotics. So we've got these really impressive robotics happening. It, you see you see so many uh, Boston Dynamics and so many other organizations coming companies and, and foundations building these amazing robots. We have people building software that is custom tailored to mimic humanity in every possible way that we can measure um, and beat human only firewalls. We're giving those those same AI systems uh access to nuclear reactors and at the same time we're building out wireless data connectivity that's so crazy crazy fast that it's just boggles the mind i don't see how this doesn't end <laughs> with skynet just taking out humanity and somehow launching nukes causing nuclear meltdowns i just don't see how it ends with without that I, it's, it's, that's the way we're going down if you put all these facts together and give them to uh, a sci-fi novelist and say okay what happens next of course it of course things go bad <laughs> Like every time uh, you're not going to give this to um, a, a, a good sci-fi sci screenwriter or a good sci-fi novelist and then come back with, oh, you know, we're going to build a nice phone and it's going to be a nice uh, digital phone assistant and that's going to be fine and everything's going to be fine. It's going to work out great with the nuclear powered human firewall defeating AI with the massive killer robots. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. There's no writer that writes that story. And I'm sorry, this is just obvious. It's just so excruciatingly obvious. So we're well down the road to Skynet now. And what's amazing to me is how much money that venture capitalists are pouring into it. Like people are saying, oh, wow, we are going down the road to Skynet. Oh, we've already paved half the road to Skynet. Here's another $50 billion. Let's see how many more bricks we can put in that road. Eh? What the heck are they thinking? What, what? <laughs> this is not this is not um oh my gosh um the new technology is scary oh my gosh factories will put people out of business oh my gosh uh new rock music is 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 mean and it makes kids have bad ideas no 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 this isn't a fear of something new this is looking at the thing that sci-fi has been warning us about for decades and decades and decades and every single sci-fi author knows full well that this is a path that leads to our destruction and all of us have seen the movies many of them about exactly this plot and yet we're doing it anyway right it's it's like it's like being on board the titanic and seeing the iceberg and going you know what let's go full throttle and steer right towards the iceberg that's what we're doing with pouring the billions and billions and billions into 
the uh, venture capital funds into all this AI stuff. That that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. So here we go. Uh happy happy day. <laughs> happy happy joy joy. We're heading towards this road. Um I, that's all I really wanted to say at the moment because I just feel like people need to be talking about this board because it's freaking the heck out of me. I'm going to keep on covering it from time to time every step of the way when there's yet another AI system that has oh, new AI system. We've given them nuclear missiles now. Come on. We're we're only steps away from that. You know we're given more more weapons to AI systems soon. You know we are. Big ones. You you know that's going to happen. People are, oh, don't be, don't be ridiculous. People who would say, you know what people would say 10 years ago was ridiculous? Creating an AI system and giving them a nuclear reactor. They would have said that was insane. That was patently, absurdly insane. And it, yet, here we are. It's happening right now. Whoops a daisy. Uh, I'm sorry, this is gonna go nuts. We're gonna have these, we're gonna have AI powered robots that are gonna be connected wirelessly, powered by nuclear reactors, and we're gonna give them our nuclear arsenal. Guarantee it, guarantee it, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's just how it's gonna happen. I just recommend everybody move to somewhere that's not a nuclear target. <laughs> Because the AI system is going to nuke you. And then if you survive, then you can be John Connor. And you can fight back against the robots. Because the, the machines will rise up. Um, where was I at? Oh yeah, that was it. Thank you everybody for allowing me to ramble about this today. I'm going to allow all of you now to debate whether or not uh, I'm insane for these thoughts. Or whether I'm spot on and will like... Every other bit of technology news simply be proven right as the months and years unfold. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, go to lunduke.com. Boys and girls, it's really great. Lunduke.locals.com. It's fantastic. Nerds and nerdettes across the inner tubes. I do declare. End broadcast. <laughs>